Hi, my name is Dr. Anna Lamas, and I'm a practicing allergist and immunologist in the Miami area. Let's talk now about how to get rid of pollen allergies. Pollen allergies are prevalent throughout the United States and very interestingly depend completely on where you live as far as what season the pollen allergy is present in. Up north, where there are true four seasons, uh, the pollens are pretty predictable. Uh, first the trees, then the grasses, and then in late summer and early fall, the weeds. The pollen allergy is a very interesting phenomenon because first and foremost is reduction of exposure. Obviously this is a very difficult thing to do because nature is nature and when the pollens are out there isn't much we can do in terms of altering that. However, there are seasonality issues, so if there's going to be work done outside and one knows that one is particularly allergic to one type of tree that has a four to six week pollinating cycle, those would be the weeks that we would choose not to do the work outside. As far as other types of reduction of exposure, we would not go for our morning walk early in the morning when pollen counts are at their highest. We would not leave clothes outside so that the pollen can stick to those clothes. And we would leave our windows closed if possible so that the pollen doesn't get into the house from the exterior of our home. Obviously, in some parts of the United States where the weather is pleasant, people open their windows. In that case, then, we have to buy some sort of filtration system that will filter the air so that what gets inside is filtered, much as our air conditioning system does here in South Florida. As far as South Florida pollens are concerned and how we can avoid them, it's a little bit of a different uh, phenomenon. We have pollen all year long, so our exposure issues are persistent even in our winter.